How to plant tomatoes in a 5 gallon container. Hello, welcome to Seven Savings Garden where we talk about gardening, ways to save money and other special events. If you are new to the channel, please subscribe and hit the bell icon so that you get notified of all upcoming videos. So to plant um, our tomato in a five gallon container, we need a container and we need good potting mix. Um, good potting mix like this. I have a video that shows you how you can make your own potting mix like this. So we have a container, so we're just going to fill our container with our potting mix. The potting mix has nutrients in it. I have rock dust. I have some other organic fertilizers um, in it. Uh, so it provides all the nutrients that the plant, uh, the plant is gonna need, and later on, um, we're gonna add more compost to it and during the growing season. So we're gonna fill it up about two thirds full um, before we plant. Um, two thirds full will give it a lot of space for uh, us to water it without it overflowing, and also give us the opportunity to uh, add more organic compost, uh, other organic materials later on. Uh, as the plant grows and then it start producing. So what we're gonna do now is just open up a space in the middle of the container like that. If you there, if you have a very long tomato plant or long seedling, you wanna bury it as much as possible. That would give you more roots for it to grow. Um, the next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna add eggshells to our uh, mixture here. So the eggshells are gonna provide the plant with calcium. Also, I have a mixture of my organic fertilizers uh, here. It has rock dust, it has um, nitrogen, it has um, and other uh, organic uh, materials in it like warm castings and stuff like that. That's going to provide the plant with a lot of nutrients. So this is our tomato plant. Since the tomato plant, the roots were not uh, fully formed at the bottom. We're just going to bury it like that and then just cover it with the soil. You just want to cover it with the soil, and it, uh, uh, if you if you if if there's still a lot of space, you can add a little bit more compost to it, or more um, um, more uh, potting mix to it. Um, but if there's not uh, a lot of space, or if you don't, you can just leave it like that. And then what we're gonna do next is um, we're gonna water it. So I am taking out any leaves that are close to the soil or close to the compost to avoid it transmitting the soil, transmitting diseases to the leaves. So if you have any leaves close to the soil or close to the, uh, the ground, just take it out. Now we're just going to water it and uh, watering it would at least make sure, ensure that the roots continue to stay moist and continue to grow. And you will make sure that you water it regularly, especially planting containers require uh, a lot of care because they might run out of water. So this is it, water is drained. And so what I'm gonna do next is, um, I'm gonna uh, put something uh, to cover it up. I put um, some leaves, uh, some grass leaves, uh, cut leaves. It's gonna provide moisture. Um, it's gonna provide moisture and it's, uh, it's gonna uh, maintain the moisture in the container and also prevent weeds from coming out. So this is it right here, um, as you can see. The leaves, the leaves are just, like I said, they're gonna provide some um, protection from the temperatures and maintain the moisture in the soil. And that's the same thing I did with this one that I, I did a couple of days. It's the same thing, as you can see, um, I have leaves on top. If you can use leaves, grass clippings or mulch, uh, it's just to help maintain the moisture in the, in the soil. So tomato plants need support. So if you're gonna uh, grow it in, around a tree like this, you can use the tree as a support, or you can put a cage, uh, tomato cage, that would help, or a stick, that would help uh, maintain the, the support. So I'm using this tree right now, but I'm gonna put a cage so that it controls it and it also maintains a nice um, structure on the, on the tomato. So because I'm gonna be planting a couple of them in here, so um, right now I have my cage in there. As you can see, I have a sturdy cage in, in, in there. And this cage is gonna help um, the tomatoes grow and maintain that structure uh, on the tomatoes. And why this, the, the tree uh, trunk is gonna provide some support on the cage. Um, if, it, if it's too heavy, I can tie the cage to the tree trunk and that would help maintain that uh, uh, structure on the cage. 
Okay, that is it for today. I hope you like the video. If you like the video, please smash the like button. If you haven't subscribed to the channel, please subscribe to the channel and don't forget to share. Thanks for watching. Happy growing.